Wait till it's cooler. We can't. We're still three days behind thanks to waiting for the men. Where's Jim? That's what I came to tell you. It's more bad news. What? He's sick, Giovanni. Mr. V, I don't know what came over me. It's a fever. But you can't stay here. You must go back to Cairo. No, please. It's just the heat. I'll it's, be better soon. It's not that. I need you to go back. What for? I want you to go and see Salt. Get him to send us a bigger boat as soon as possible. Tell him that the head is on its way. But with a bigger boat, there'll be many more treasures in Thebes that we can acquire. But nobody else must know. This way, people will think you're only going back because you're sick. I don't want to leave you. No, Jim. I know. The illness of his servant was just one of a host of problems that now confronted Belzoni. We'll have to go across the dip through there. You said we couldn't. It was too deep. We'd have to go round it. I did, but we are not going fast enough. We have maybe only three weeks before the floods come. It will take more than that to go round the dip. Our only chance is to go straight through it. I hope we can get out the other side. What if the floods come early? On the 5th of August, we entered the land I was so anxious to pass over, for fear the water should reach it and arrest our course. At this rate, he'll have to head out before the floods. He must be stopped, now! Da Hassana Shenak. Al Basha Ayan Beset Menak, or Hataket and Akatekud Mukafa. The spot where the head lay was expected to be under water in a few days. Any delay, then the risk would be incurred of having it sunk in the earth so that it could not have been taken out till the following year. Where is everyone? You know whose work this is, don't you? He knows that when the floods come, all this will be water. The head will be stuck here. Wait! 
Belzoni. Listen to me, Mr. Kaimakan. No one breaks an agreement with Belzoni. Where are my workers, huh? I don't know what you mean. What I mean is, unless I get my workers that I have paid for, I will shoot you through the head and send your body to the Pasha in Cairo. Do you understand me? Yes. I'll be waiting by the head in an hour. Make sure the men are there. The Kaimakan could give me no reason for his proceeding but only saucy answers. My patience was great, but in this country, respect is paid only to the strongest. Early on the morning of the 7th of August, the bust advanced considerably more than usual, owing to the men having rested on the preceding day. Ramesses' memorial temple, from which the bust came, was just the start of the king's obsession for building. In the third year of his reign, Ramesses embarked on the most ambitious construction program since the pyramids, 1,500 years before. The population would be put to work, changing the face of Egypt. In Thebes, the great temples were to be transformed. Each would become a tribute to Ramesses, a recognition of his divinity. Determined to immortalize himself in stone, Ramesses decreed a change to the style in which it was cut. Previous pharaohs were notorious for chiseling over the words of those that had come before them, and the elegant raised reliefs were easy to recut. So Ramesses insisted on a different style where images were instead cut deep into the stone. They would show up more clearly in the strong Egyptian sun and therefore underline his bond to the sun god Ra. But perhaps far more importantly for him, they were difficult to remove. No successor of Ramesses would erase his name from history.